Hey there, and welcome to the Sunday preview for this 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. This weekend is Sacred Heart Weekend. We celebrated the Feast of the Sacred Heart on Friday the 11th. And uh, I think the Gospel really speaks to something that we all feel these days. Because we all feel like maybe things are slipping away in our society and our culture. And that maybe the power of evil is getting stronger and the kingdom of the powers of the world is seems to be winning and we can get a little bit discouraged and feel like we're losing ground i think it's a pretty common feeling but jesus speaks about the kingdom of god in today's reading so let's listen to the gospel according to mark chapter 4 and it says jesus said to the crowds this is how it is with the kingdom of god It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. When the grain is ripe, he wheels the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or... What parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, that when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants, and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them, as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, But to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus talks about how his kingdom on earth spreads. And it's not like the powers of this world. He even says at his trial in front of Pilate, my kingdom is not of this world. Because it doesn't function like the kingdoms of this world with coercion and manipulation and shows of great power and strength. But it's more like a seed that grows silently and quietly. And you might even say mysteriously. It says the farmer doesn't know exactly how it all works. But little by little, the kingdom of God grows because Jesus is behind it. And we're like the farmer who goes out and scatters the seed and we try to spread the gospel as best we can. And we plant those seeds of faith in the hearts of young people, children, in the hearts of our friends and family members. And we don't really know how the Holy Spirit makes it all grow, but that kingdom of God is inevitably growing. And even though maybe the kingdoms of the world can seem more powerful and influential and seem like the wrong people are in charge all the time and yet Jesus is assuring the disciples that his kingdom is growing here on the earth and we've got to put our trust and our confidence in that word of Jesus and the worst thing we can do is give in to discouragement and despair we should instead you know, really trust that he'll make his kingdom grow in us. And it goes from being the smallest of seeds to the biggest of the bushes. And God will win in time. God will prevail. And God's kingdom will be the kingdom. And we're fortunate to be called members of that kingdom of God. And so do a check on your own optimism, your own hopefulness. Because sometimes we can feel defeated, but we shouldn't. Because Christ is on our side, and he's making his kingdom grow.